If you were asked how long it takes for your money to double, what would you say? 10 years? 20 years? A lifetime? Here's the truth. Your money could double a lot faster than you think, or it could take much longer depending on what you do with it. And once you start to understand just how this doubling works, you start to see money differently. You stop seeing it as a slow, frustrating grind, and instead see it as something with the potential to grow in leaps, almost like it has its own life. This video is sponsored by Moomoo. Right now, when you deposit your first $100, you'll get $20 in NVIDIA stock, a 20% bonus. Plus, they're offering up to 8% APY in uninvested cash for a limited time. Check out the referral code in the comments to sign up. Let's be honest, doubling is exciting. If you put in $10,000 and it becomes $20,000, that feels like a major milestone. But what really gets interesting is when that money doubles again and then again. That's when the numbers start to take off and the line on the chart curves upward in a way that doesn't even feel real. But before we get into the thrill of doubling, let's cover the math behind it. There's a simple trick called the rule of 72. Take the number 72 and divide it by your annual rate of return. That tells you roughly how many years it'll take for your money to double. For example, if you earn 8% on your investments, 72 divided by 8 equals 9 years. That means your money doubles every 9 years. If you only earn 4%, it takes 18 years. Big difference. So that's the math, but how does it play out in the real world? In a savings account earning 3%, it takes about 24 years. That's more than two decades, almost a quarter of a lifetime for many people. That's slow, but it's safe. Your money is protected, liquid, and it's not going to disappear quickly. The downside is that inflation slowly eats away your purchasing power, so the growth is pretty much invisible depending on inflation rates. Now let's see what happens when you aim higher than a basic savings account. If you put that same $10,000 into the S&P 500, which has historically averaged around 10% per year, it could double in just over 7 years, less than the time a lot of people spend paying off a car. This faster growth comes from a combination of price appreciation and dividends, but it also comes with ups and downs, and a lot of them. You have to be ready for the balance to fluctuate, dropping 50% in extreme circumstances, and commit to it for the long term. Now let's say you invest in individual stocks or a high growth ETF and are able to achieve a 12% return per year. Your investment would double in an average of 6 years. The potential for bigger gains is exciting, but the risk is higher. Losses are more likely with higher highs and lower lows, and not every year will be the same. Some people are drawn to real estate investing because it allows them to control a large asset with a relatively small down payment, essentially using the bank's money to amplify their potential gains. This kind of leverage can lead to impressive results, sometimes 15%, 20%, or even higher annual returns. Of course, higher returns come with higher risk and more work, and not every investor will achieve these numbers. To put it into perspective, an investment earning 15% annually can double in just under 5 years, about 4.8 years, while a 20% return cuts that time down to roughly 3.6 years. Each of these paths can double your money. It's just a question of time horizon, how much work you're willing to put in, your tolerance of extreme price fluctuations, and patience. Over time, even average market returns can compound dramatically, while higher risk options can accelerate wealth, but only if you're willing to handle the bumps along the way and risk losing it all. The difference between a savings account and the S&P 500 is huge. It just goes to show you how taking some risk can change the timeline dramatically. And here's the exciting part. Every time your money doubles, the next doubling happens faster in real dollar terms because you're now compounding on a bigger base. That's the magic of exponential growth. Small, consistent steps early can lead to massive outcomes over decades. And here's another layer. Returns above inflation matter a lot. A 3% return might sound fine, but with inflation hovering around the same level, most of your gains are eaten away. Your real wealth barely grows. At 10% returns, only a small fraction is lost to inflation, meaning the bulk of your growth actually increases your purchasing power. That's why aiming for higher compounding returns isn't just about speed, it's about keeping your money from shrinking in value while it grows. This isn't just math, it changes your mindset. Because when you realize how doubling works, you start to get excited about even modest returns. People look at 7% or 8% and say, that doesn't sound like much. But when you see that it means a doubling every decade or so, that's huge. And the more times you can fit those doublings into your lifetime, the wealthier you'll become. For people who are working and consistently adding to their investments, the growth can get really exciting. Because you're not just relying on the initial sum, you're stacking on new money every month. Take $10,000 in the S&P 500. On its own, it might double in about 7 years, right? But add $500 a month, roughly 10% of the median annual income, and suddenly that $10,000 rockets to over $80,000 in the same time. 
Start with $100,000 and keep adding $500 a month? Over $250,000 in just seven years. That's the magic of compounding plus steady contributions. But here's another fun way to think about it. Doubling can come from different directions. It doesn't always mean waiting years for growth. Sometimes your money doubles because of a single choice. Buying a stock that doubles in two years is obvious, but cutting your expenses and saving an extra $500 a month? That doubles your contributions. Refinancing a loan and saving $300 a month? That's freeing up money that can start doubling in the market. Let's talk about what happens when you double your investments more than four or five times. This is where the math gets crazy, because once you cross into six or seven doublings, you're in life-changing territory. That's when a $10,000 seed turns into $640,000, or even over a million dollars. And most people don't realize how close they are to that tipping point. They think doubling is something distant, out of reach. But if you're consistent, you'll look back one day and realize your money doubled several times while you weren't even paying attention. The human brain struggles to grasp exponential growth. We naturally think in linear terms because it matches how we experience most things in life. We see progress as one step forward, another step forward, like climbing stairs. It feels predictable and manageable, so our brains default to that model. But wealth, and especially investing, is anything but linear. Compounding transforms small gains into exponential growth, yet our linear way of thinking makes it hard to grasp just how fast wealth can grow. So building it often feels slower than it really is. Doubling is pure exponential power. It's like taking one step forward, then suddenly two, then four, then eight with the same effort. That's why the early stages can feel frustratingly slow. But eventually, the pace accelerates to something almost unbelievable. But here's where it gets even more interesting, and where most people make a critical mistake. The more of your net worth that's in compounding assets, the faster your overall net worth can actually double. Think about it. Someone who has 80% of their money tied up in cars, electronics, furniture, and other items that steadily lose value isn't just slowing growth, they're actively losing purchasing power over time. Even if they have 10-20% to 20 of their net worth invested, it would take enormous contributions just to offset depreciation and make a noticeable impact on net worth. In many cases, the combined effect of items losing value in the relatively small portfolio means their wealth barely grows or can even shrink if maintenance, upgrades, and replacements are factored in. Meanwhile, someone who has 90-95% to 95 of their net worth in growth-oriented assets, stocks, ETFs, real estate, and other investments that compound over time, is essentially letting their money do the heavy lifting. These assets grow without additional effort, and each doubling builds on a bigger base. The more of your net worth you allocate wisely, the faster those doublings start stacking up, and the less you have to actively push your wealth forward. And when you actually reach that critical mass of invested assets, the effect becomes even more tangible. That's why someone with $1 or $2 million invested just keeps getting wealthier. At 10% annual returns, $1 million earns $100,000 a year on average, more than most people ever make in a single year without adding a dime. $100,000 coming in automatically is like having a full-time software engineer whose only job is to hand over their entire paycheck to you. The money starts growing faster than you can possibly spend it. At this stage, it's a machine working for you, creating options, freedom, and opportunities almost automatically. But doubling doesn't have to be limited to money alone. Knowledge, skills, and opportunities compound too. Learning a new investing strategy, improving a skill that boosts your income, or building relationships that open doors can double the effectiveness of your contributions over time. Each of these doublings isn't just theoretical. It's practical, real-world compounding that accelerates your path to financial freedom. With the rule of 72, you can instantly see how fast your money could double. Just plug in your expected rate of return, and suddenly you know the timeline for your investments to start growing in leaps. You might actually find that your portfolio doubles quicker than the formula suggests. So what's your target rate of return? And how fast do you think your money will double?